Alright guys, so I have a belt here and we got Galvão already just finished a seminar, an awesome seminar here at our school and I'm gonna ask him to show you a little bit uh, a technique for us, uh, an attack from, from the half guard to the arm bar. Alright, so we're gonna show you the full motion and after he is gonna explain to you guys how, how we do that and now if you see something wrong you just point and let us know, okay? Let's go. All right. So uh, I'm gonna show uh, you guys a half court movement from uh, the dog fight, where it leads to the armbar attack, which I did on the AC trials of 2022. It seemed kind of like hard, but I'm just explaining. I'm gonna do a full motion here, and later on we're gonna explain the whole movement, and you're gonna eventually see that it's very simple and very easy. So we're here in close guard. Mm -hmm. The head is bring the dog fight. Is the arm prepping the win? We have the arm attack. Now, slowing down a little bit. As you can see, it's kind of like a combination of the standing position called the G-lock, where you have the arm wrapped around your uh, uh, your own arm or your neck, and then eventually you do the arm bar, and the very well known, the coyote guard there, the, <coughs> the coyote where you have the half guard. Initially, I like to show this position from the half guard because the entrance, I think it's a very important detail. So what I like to do for the half guard is I like to keep my leg, one of my hooks behind the, the, the back and the knee here protecting myself. Because if I'm fighting a big guy, it's very hard for me if there's a guy smashing me and I don't have any protection at all. So that's why I like to keep this knee in here into the shoulder and it kind of like touching a little bit of the chest. Now second one, I want to have both of my hands working in with the knee shield because then I can prevent him from grabbing my head or pulling me in and then putting me in a lot of danger. I have the protection up here, I have my leg protecting here, and then now I also just have the hook behind keeping the distance. This one in here is gonna be re responsible for pulling him in so he doesn't escape. Now we can go for our uh, deep half court entrance. What I'm gonna do is very simple. I just need to open the space and dive in with both of my arms. If I just dive with one of my arms, at some point I'm gonna get caught in a bad situation. So if I try to go only one arm, he's gonna get my head in here or he's gonna just like hug it and then I'm gonna lose the position. If I try to go with only this one, he's gonna get the overhook, the underhook, I'm sorry, and then I'm gonna get stuck. So both of my arms need to dive at the same time. And also not only my arm, but my head too. So through here, I'm gonna open the space, open a little bit, and then now I have the whole, this whole space here for me to go into the, the, uh, the deep half. I'll go both arms, and then my hand also tuck it in into my chest and go inside. Now that I'm inside here in this space, what I want to do, I'm going to bring him over so I can start working on my coyote. So arms go in, I'm going to pull him towards myself, and then now from here I'm going to switch. You see his legs a little wider, now I can change. Put the hook over, remove the top and the bottom leg, and then bring his knee, uh, his ankle towards myself, dropping his knee on the mat. Now here is a very good situation because from here you can either sweep him, or you can come on top, try sweeping, and of course, ending the position on a on a on a word passing there. But the situation that occurred on the ADCC trial is that the moment I got up here to try to sweep him, he got my arm tangled, and before he could go a little deeper, I got a lock behind his shoulder. And then here we start doing kind of like the G lock from the bottom. What I like to do from here, and I see a lot of people have some kind of like hard time to do is I like to lower his level. You see, he's too high here. I'm not gonna be able to do the position from here because my leg needs to go all the way up. I don't want that to happen. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower himself a little bit more. Lower himself a little bit more, but still, it's gonna be hard. So what I do, knee close. Now that my knee is a little closer, my hips are closer to him. So I'm gonna be able to just pass my leg over. My arm goes wrapping his, uh, his elbow, and then I'm gonna do the spin over get an arm attack. One little detail that I like to do is I like to keep this foot under his head because this is going to prevent him from doing uh, the bridges behind. If he tries to, this is controlling. And also I can bring him up to try apply a little more pressure into his arm. And from here, you can easily submit all upon it. All right? So a very quick one here. So one, two, three, bring it. Four, five, come on top, okay, six, seven, and then now that we're close, we gotta make sure that this is really pushing him down because we need the arm free. And then now we can do this. And 
happened in here, you have the submission. All right? It's very simple and very easy. You just gotta make sure that you have the right details and the right uh, 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 steps to get into the situation. All right? Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys. Thank you one more time for watching. Thank you, Mika and so Mel, for helping us here on the seminar. I see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye. Peace.